Father in heaven, I can't preach and these folks can't get the message unless your spirit comes and talks to us. Please do that now. Please open our hearts to receive your truth. And Lord, we eagerly invite you to make any changes in our thinking that need to be made. And we can think of a few too, but you just work in us according to your plan, dear Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. So, huh? I am their leader. Where did they go? You, you didn't lead them away? I was the follower. Ah, okay. Well, <clears throat> it is absolutely wonderful to hear you guys develop. Now, I don't recognize about half of you because you've grown about eight inches since the last time I saw you. Man, I can't believe how you're growing. I think, parents, you must be feeding them too well. All right. How many of you are happy today? Rejoicing? Yeah? I'm sorry. If your kids aren't sitting up here with me, they should be coming to find me. Okay? So if they don't show up in about 30 seconds, I don't want to hunt them down. <laughs> Without a weapon. This lamp will illustrate a person. We'll call him Tommy. All right? You notice Tommy looks pretty sturdy. Tommy is not very happy, though. Can anybody guess why Tommy's not very happy? Oh, he doesn't have a light. The problem is, Tommy doesn't realize he doesn't have a light. He doesn't even realize he needs a light. He doesn't even realize that he was made to have a light. He kind of likes himself the way he is. You see his broad shoulders? His tall stature? Shining countenance. Who needs a light, right? I can just reflect whatever's going on around me from my nice shiny face. I can be there, involved, and, and reacting to everything. Anyway, he doesn't realize he needs a light. Anybody understand the light metaphor? You, you, get, you get the light metaphor? All right, let's look at that, that scripture. The Lord is my light. Ah, the Lord is my light. So without the Lord then, what are we lacking? The light. So this lamp can represent any of us. But right now, you know, if you, if you don't want to take it too personally, it'll just be Tommy, okay? It'll be Tommy. All right, we, do, we have any Tommies in the group? Thomas doesn't count. It's only Tommy. Oh, there's a Tommy over there. Okay, Tommy, you'll have to listen very carefully here. All right. To poor Tommy does not realize that he doesn't have a light, and he doesn't realize that he needs a light, and he thinks he's just okay the way he is, but he does know that he needs something. What does he need? He thinks he needs money. Everybody needs money, right? Yeah, Tommy needs money because he wants to buy an iPad. So he's going after money. Does that look like it's going to fill the bill there? Now, Tommy would like to have a credit card because he would like to spend money even before he earns it. And he's seen his dad do that, so he thinks it's probably the road to happiness. And he thinks that if he had a credit card of his own, that might be real living. So he's trying to get money, and he's trying to get a credit card. Ha! Ah, see how much he's glowing? Doing great with this, isn't he? Money, credit card... 
Do you get the, do you get the picture? Yeah? Maybe money and credit cards and things don't make people. Well, Tommy's also, you know, a guy who really likes animals. And he thinks maybe if he had a wonderful pet. What kind of pet would Tommy like? Dog? A rat? Oh. <laughs> maybe he wants one of those lizards. What do you call those things? That yeah, iguana, yeah, I don't know. Will it represent the pet that Tommy thinks would make him glow with happiness? By a wooden camel. Very exotic pet. Anybody see any glowing going on here? Now, you know what? Happiness comes briefly from all these things, doesn't it? You get a little money and whoo! Then what? Pretty soon your money owes you if you get too much of it. It owns you. Credit cards, I don't know if anybody ever thought happiness came from a credit card, but if they did, it didn't last very long, did they? Now, Tommy is thinking that maybe if he had some really classy electronics, that would make him glow with happiness. So this out-of-date memory stick will have to serve for classy electronics. Any glowing going on there? All right. Tommy thinks that he, when he grows up, he would be really happy if he could have a lot of stuff. In order to have a lot of stuff, he's going to need a house or two. Anybody ever see a house like that? It's a wonderful American game. Uh, I know it's a hotel, but it's a house for now. Houses have gotten bigger, you know. All right. He also thinks that the way to glow with happiness is to have luxuries, as many luxuries as possible. Any glowing going on? Looks like Tommy's life's getting a lot of junk in it, doesn't it? Anybody ever feel that way? Now, one thing that Tommy knows for sure really would make him very happy is if he could be a sports star. So he's really practicing up on his ball playing. This doesn't make a very good symbol. It looks more like a wiffle ball, doesn't it? But anyway, he's going to get so good in sports that that's going to make him glow with happiness. Any glowing going on? Mm. Well, Tommy thinks that someday he'll be rich. He'll have a house full of fancy things. That'll surely make him happy. <laughs> Anybody here have a house full of fancy things? You'd be afraid to raise your hand, wouldn't you? <laughs> I'm really looking. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, because fancy things take a lot of dusting. Anybody notice that? <laughs> a lot of dusting and cleaning and keeping up. And many, oh yes, he has to have a third house too on the beach. Now one thing Tommy knows for sure, and that is that if he had a fancy sports car, he would be happy. This Nissan Fob will have to substitute for that. But anyway, he has all these things. Now he's going to be lighted up with joy, right? What does the Bible say about light? This is a quotation from somebody. Anybody have any idea who, who, who said this? Jesus said that. I am the light. Okay. Tommy doesn't realize yet that the only hope of him having joyful happiness is to have Jesus inside. Now these things Tommy wants are not bad things. It's just that none of them are the light. And you can spend a whole lifetime, poor Tommy, trying to find happiness with all these things and never finding it. In fact, a lot of these things can just end up making you more and more burdened. Mm. Now Tommy's graduated from high school and he decides he hasn't found happiness yet. 
and he's not sure, but he thinks maybe if he goes and serves in the military, that'll make him a powerful, happy, successful person. So he joins the Navy. Any light yet? Not a bad thing. All these things are good. No light. No light yet. Well, Tommy says, I'm going to be so rich and famous someday. I'm going to get a head start in the Navy, but I'm going to see the world. Uh, symbolized by a pyramid, of course. Because he wants to go eventually to Egypt. Hopefully after the difficulties there are past. Is Tommy full of light and happiness yet? No. We've all seen the results of a life filled with these things. No real happiness. Some excitement, some pleasure, some fun at times. But no real happiness. And Tommy knows he's missing something, but he doesn't know what it is. And suddenly one day, the great revelation comes to him of what it is he's been missing all along. Missy Lamp. Missy Lamp. That's the answer. Whoa, la, la. Look how she shines. Look how she sparkles. Look at her curves. This is going to do it now. I finally found the secret of happiness. Well, now you can see that Missy Lamp is happy. And she's bubbly. And she's just having a great time. She's even got shine. Real shine. Let's make her shine a little more even. There you go. Now, since she has the light, who does she have? Ah, she must have Jesus. But Tommy doesn't yet understand. He's heard about this. This is not a new concept to him. But he doesn't know what it means to actually let Jesus live inside of him. He just thought, well, you just believe that Jesus came as a baby. You just believe that Jesus died on the cross for your sins. You just believe he's up there in heaven. And, you know, someday maybe you'll need to make things right with him so that you have hope of eternal life. And he's a believer, but he doesn't understand that you can't glow with happiness and joy unless you let Jesus live in you. He just hasn't caught that yet. But he sees that Missy has something very special. At first, he thinks it's just her lovely shape. But then their relationship deepens and he sees that she has a really sweet personality. And she just seems so lively. And so he thinks, well, she just inherited a wonderful personality and she's just so lively. But then he gets to know Missy better. And she says to him, you know what, Tommy? You're looking for happiness in the wrong places. You need to know Jesus. You need to let him into your life every day. You need to say, Jesus, live in me. I want to be like you. Just come and live your sweet, beautiful life in me. I want to be happy. So now Tommy has the problem of changing his priorities and giving Jesus a chance to make him happy. Never underestimate the power of a woman. <laughs> Missy has an effect on him, and he decides to try Jesus. Aha! He almost immediately begins to glow. And guess what else? He discovers the tr source of true happiness. How many of you have discovered that everything else fails eventually? Everything else. What alone never fails? Jesus never fails. Should we say it together? Jesus never fails. Do you remember a scripture which says love never fails? In 1 Corinthians 13? You know why love never fails? Because Jesus is love. If you found true love, you found who? Jesus. Jesus never fails fails. 
And whenever Tommy finds now that his, that his light is getting dim and he's not feeling as joyful and happy, what does Tommy know that he needs now? Pyramids? Luxuries? More service? Good thing, good thing. Might help him some. No, he knows what he really, really, really needs when his happiness is waning is more, more Jesus in his life. That's right. And so he gets happier and happier as he practices that from day to day. Well, when Tommy falls in love with Jesus and he's gotten to know Missy, he never forgets her because of her great influence in his life, but they discover they weren't, after all, exactly meant for each other. But she's done the best thing a person can ever do for anybody else. She shared Jesus with him. Can't ever do anything better than that. And so, let me see what I do with that thing. Oh, here it is. So much junk on here, I can't find it. This is what the Bible says. Now that you've found Jesus, do what? Arise! Shine, for your light has come. Now if I could have a word with the grown-ups. Grown-ups, you ever feel burdened down? Does it ever make you grouchy? Never? I feel grouchy sometimes. You know what the Holy Spirit says to me every time I feel grouchy? You need more... Jesus, more Jesus. Because when you're grouchy, you think, oh, I need somebody to change something, somebody to fix something, somebody to stop being the way they're being. I need better health. I need more of this, more of that. Something needs to change. But when you're grouchy, what do you need? More of the light of Jesus in your life. How many of you accepted this as your central truth in your life? Have you? Do you make every day a new day to find more of Jesus? Do you start out every day by specifically saying, Jesus, I can't get through this life, I can't get through this day, and be a happy person and a good example and a witness of how good, great it is to be a Christian unless you come and live in me right now? Do that. Become desperate for the light of Jesus because just like Tommy here, that light's going to keep trying to get away from you. How many of you have found that to be true? That light just keeps trying to get away from you. Keeps trying to get away from you. But you're not going to let it happen. Well, friends, the command of Scripture is, Arise, shine, for your light has come. What's the uh, tense there? It's past tense, isn't it? Present, arise, shine, because past tense, your light has come. Every one of us can shine with happiness now. No matter circumstances, now. Because our light is with us, ready to glow inside of our hearts. Amen? Amen. Let's bow our heads. Father in heaven, I want to thank you so much for these precious parents, these precious students, the excellent school you've given us, the message that goes out in this academy every day that Jesus is essential to our happiness. Father, I pray with all my heart that this simple message will be in, internalized by these students. The world is telling them constantly you need this, you need that, you need that. If you get this, you'll be happy. This is real happiness. But Father, there's one thing we need. We need Jesus. And then he says, if you seek him first, all these other good things will be added to you. I plead with you, Father, that our students will know that and love that truth and that they themselves will learn to shine and lead each other to Jesus. Thank you for this congregation here this morning, Lord. We are Seventh-day Adventists from all over the Spokane area. Fill us with Jesus. 
Let us in every church and in every community where we reside glow with Jesus. And then send the hungry, those longing for happiness, so we can share Jesus with them. In his name we pray. Amen. All right, we have